New at 430, months of waiting are over. We have new population data from the 2020 census. Several local communities show growth, including Virginia Beach and Chesapeake. The data will help define voting districts, determine school funding, and so much more. Alex Littlehales explains. It means a lot more than just numbers. It's going to be really exciting to see. Every decade, the census provides a snapshot of our national and our local communities, helping us pass laws, determining where to put roads, hospitals, and more. Well, here's what those numbers look like here in the Commonwealth. Virginia's growth has slowed down since the 1990s after two consecutive decades with a double-digit percent population change. The latest census shows a population change between 5 and 10 percent. According to Census Bureau data, the cities of Chesapeake and Suffolk had the highest growth rates in the local Hampton Roads region. But these numbers matter most when it comes to our elected leaders. This newly released data started a now running clock for the state's redistricting commission to redraw the state's congressional and legislative seats. So while we won't be able to actually like see and perceive the data for at least a few days, if not a week, uh, today we'll start the clock for the 45 day window that the redistricting commission has to draw the state legislature maps and the 60 day window to draw the congressional maps. So this is sort of what I would describe as game time for redistricting which could change based on the latest numbers in those areas. Population density across the Commonwealth, so what districts might be over or underpopulated, and additionally, sort of how demographics might have changed across the Commonwealth over the last decade. And Virginia is more diverse than it was 10 years ago. Coming up on 13 News Now at 530, I'll show you just by how much. In Norfolk, I'm Alex Little Hales.